Hey y'all, I don't normally do this because I'm a very quiet, introvert person, but the Lord laid on my heart to share with you all how I was born. For those of you who don't know, I am a miracle child. My mom was one month overdue with me. So one night the Lord woke her up and said, go to this specific hospital. And when you get there, they're not going to be able to send you home. She said, yes, Lord. So she woke up my dad, they got dressed, and they was on their way to the hospital. Mind you, she had never heard of this hospital before, didn't even know it existed. So when she got there, she told the attending physician, she said, hi, I'm, you know, I'm here to have my baby. And he said, well, has your water broken? She said, no. Do you have any pain? She said, no. And he said, okay, well, We'll go ahead and sign you in and check you to see how many centimeters dilated you are. She said, okay. So they checked her. She was three centimeters dilated. And he said, well, since you don't have any pain and your water hasn't broken, go ahead and get dressed and come back when either your water has broken or you start to feel pain. And then he left the room. So she said to herself out loud, Lord, you said that they're not going to be able to send me home. So as soon as she said that to herself, he walks back in the room and says to her, better yet, we'll go ahead and admit you and induce your labor. She said, okay. So they got her back to her room and she said, oh, and I can't have a baby. Y'all going to have to give me a C-section. So he said, well, let me run some tests to see whether or not you can have a baby. So they ran a test. He came back and he said, well, I don't see where there's any indication that you can't have a baby. And she said, as soon as he said that, she immediately started speaking in tongues. And she spoke in tongues so long. That whenever they would come in the room and ask her what's her name, date of birth, all, you know, all that good stuff. In her mind, she thinks she's speaking English, telling them her name, date of birth, and all of that. But what's coming out is tongues. And the, the attending physician was like, I ain't never heard that before. And so he brought everybody from different nationalities that they had in the hospital to come in her room to try to figure out what she was saying. And they was like, no, I don't understand that. Oh, I'm out of time. Hit like and comment for part two.